Fitzpatrick's exhibition opening. We had a soft opening last week, last Thursday, went very, very well, a preview, but this is the official opening this evening. I am absolutely delighted to have Susan Lockname here to open the exhibition on behalf of Jim. Please give Susan a round. Woo! for coming. Uh, I've known Jim for the goods of a decade now. Um, yeah, more than a decade. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, um, I, when I first met him when I was about 17, but I, yeah, basically I just felt... very young. I was very young, and I felt so lucky and honoured to be his friend. Um, and I learned so much from Jim over the years, uh, just about being a better person, but also about being a better artist. Um, he's an incredibly... Um, First of all, he's so uh, talented. When, he, when I first started watching him paint, it was all of these skyscapes, landscape por uh, portraits, these very uh, personal, beautiful portraits. Um, and I remember just thinking that they were, they were. He was so free with with a paintbrush. He was just so like, you know, like he could just do anything, and he wasn't scared. I was very scared with the paintbrush. You know, I wanted to. And then, and then I remembered, my God, he's done all this intricate work which I'd kind of forgotten about because he was doing all this new stuff. And I'm like, this is insane that someone who's done all this intricate, like, incredible Celtic mythological work um, has done so much. It just can be so free with a brush. Um, so I was so inspired by that. I find that he's such a brave artist. Um, and he can go from, you know, he started, I don't know if he started off with psychedelic because I don't really know the history. I'm more of a kind of friend than... Like, I'm, I'm not as much of a, like, I don't know the history of it, but started off with psychedelic from what I can see, and then it kind of moved into, um, into the Celtic, and then now there's, like, all these uh, amazing seascapes and, and really free, beautiful work, um, and I just feel like it's incredibly brave. And then, yeah, and he's done political work, and, and uh, yeah, and just such, such brave, um, uh, versatile, art, um, and Ireland is so lucky to have him, uh, and I'm so lucky to be his friend. Um, however many Woo! years later, I still feel really lucky, and, uh, and, I, and I really look forward to, um, to, to watching the rest of his career develop, and, and, and being a part of that, and hopefully... Years to go. Yeah, yeah, and witnessing, witnessing the, the, this incredible journey unfold. So thank you very much for being here, and are we really lucky to be here? <laughs> yeah, I'm Jim! <laughs> okay. I want to thank Susan, obviously. Uh, Susan, I described on my Facebook page today as a scandalous artist and actor because she's written a book based on a conversation. We walk on the beach a lot because she lives up in Malahide, which is not New York a lot. And she's actually Besides being a star of Locate and a wonderful actor, she has also written a book called The Art of Scandal. It's a very provocative book. I got a copy of it. It's about a woman who paints naked men and causes a scandal in the town. They're all trying to kill each other over it. But anyway, thank you, Susan, for you know, for all those walks on the beach and plenty of inspiration. I've drawn Susan a few times for her since. Thank you all for being here. The prints are on the wall. You know. I see a lot of familiar faces here. I, I am a political animal at the best and worst of times. <clears throat> I'm constantly being harassed for, for people I mix with who I try to stay neutral because Ireland is a neutral country and I'm a pacifist and a Christian and a Catholic. And uh, I reach out to these different groups, most of them are extremely radical and I find them fascinating. Uh, on the other side, we have all sort of this kind of Celtic work, which is uh, where my head lives most of the time and it's not occupied by real life, and uh, it's a world I adore, and I spend a lot of time in it, and I travel around Ireland, and have for a while, but uh, I used to travel around the country and look at all these little fairy lands and all this stuff, I was, my cousin is here, and my first cousin, I spent a lot of time with her down when we were kids in Kilkee, or in uh, Ennis, in Kilmaley, areas like that, where I learned all about folk myths and folk mythology, and then at the very end we have all this crazy stuff I did when I was working with uh, Philip Linus, who was a marvelously inspirational friend, who was also more than a friend. He was kind of like uh, my financial patron at times. He used to make sure I got lots of money for doing, well, I did a lot of work too, but he made sure I got well remunerated, so his contributions at the end of all the busy works. 
Anyway, long story cut short, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Susan, for opening the show. Thank you, Dermot, for putting it on and putting up with me. And uh, <laughs> I'm not very demanding. And thanks, everybody, for being here. <laughs>